I'm Christopher Kimball, host of America's Test Kitchen, and welcome to our home. This is a 3,000 square foot test kitchen. We have people testing equipment, doing taste tests, and of course, testing recipes eight, nine, 10 hours a day. We have about 50 test cooks, two dozen ovens, a dozen different ranges. We buy a ton of cookware. This is our tasting lab. We do tastings two or three times a day. There's no talking, so you can't influence the person next to you. We have a very large library with thousands of volumes, and we also have two photo studios. We have full-time photographer, full-time videographer. We have people doing science tests, laboratory tests. It's a little like Willy Wonka on the chocolate factory. <laughs> we cook a recipe at least 50 times, so our job is to get the recipes to work in any kitchen, anywhere. Today we're going to go back to Thanksgiving and deal with turkey in a very different way. We're going to braise it. We're not going to roast it. The concept is the bird is braised with liquids in its parts, and it solves the ultimate Thanksgiving problem, which is the white meat overcooks before the dark meat's done. The other thing it solves is you don't have to worry about gravy, because you're making gravy as you go. It's an easier way to do it, and I think it's a lot better way. And we're going to start with a lot of vegetables, which will be helpful to make a stock. And this is going to be what flavors stock along, of course, with the turkey itself. So now for the turkey, we have a whole breast, a drumstick on the other side, and then finally the two thighs. The problem is when the turkey's together, the breast meat is exposed and gets more heat, and a lot of that dark meat is actually kind of hidden. This way, the breast meat will cook along with the dark meat. Now we're going to solve the problem of making the gravy because this recipe makes its own gravy. We have a cup of white wine, four cups of uh, chicken broth, cover with some parchment paper, and then we'll foil. So this goes back into the oven, but we've lowered the oven down to 325. It'll take between an hour and three quarters and two hours and 15 minutes. And now for the taste test for my two harshest critics here. <laughs> I am harsh kitchen. It's really moist and you can really taste the turkey. It's a very clean flavor. The white meat is, is very tender, and the dark meat's also fully cooked. So there you have it, a new way to do turkey. Braised turkey is much simpler, it's foolproof, and it makes its own gravy.